Overseas now, some dramatic developments in Indonesia where at least 11,000 people are forced to evacuate because look at this, because of what you're seeing here. That's lava from this massive volcano erupting. It's been erupting for hours. You could even see it on a satellite. Look at this, this cloud, like 180 miles wide when this eruption began. The Indonesian government wants people to leave because they're worried part of this volcano could collapse into the ocean and trigger a dangerous tsunami. NBC News meteorologist Bill Karens is here. Um, huge volcano, right, in Iceland back in 2010 that disrupted a ton of flights, it like blotted yes. out the sun. There is a different kind of risk here when we're talking about this Indonesian volcano. Walk us through it. Yeah, the immediate threat would be if the, uh, the dome collapses, and it's literally just the island is the volcano. So if a, a wall or parts of the dome collapses and heads into the ocean, that could cause a tsunami. It's happened in the history of Indonesia before. There was a case where 450 people died from a tsunami caused by the collapsing of a volcano. So that's the concern. That's why there is a tsunami alert that's in place. And we've had the imagery. So this happened this morning as everyone on the east coast of the United States was waking up. This was actually Wednesday evening in Indonesia. Indonesia. That's why we have all these nighttime pictures. And what was really incredible was all the lightning that was with the plumes. I mean, some of these pictures look like they were generated by AI. They just, you, know, you look at them and they're like, that can't be real. But it's generated over 4,000 lightning strikes. It's a similar process to a thunderstorm, but not completely. It's almost more static electricity. This is from all the ash plume going up in the air. If you ever go on your rug with your socks and then go and touch a, you know, a doorknob, that's similar to why we have saw so much lightning in this. And it's good. Uh, Hallie, that you know, n no injuries, no fatalities. Everyone was able yeah. to evacuate safely. Which is huge here, but the ash cloud is so big that yes. there's concern now that maybe it could literally actually make the planet a little bit cooler. Yeah, now this is a, a very large volcano. They, I'm hearing estimates that it went up to about 15 to 20,000 feet into the atmosphere. You can see the eruption. That's the ash you're looking at, not the clouds. So let me go to my graphics now to show you. So here's an example of the animation we made here for you of the volcanic ash. So the eruption releases the sulfur dioxide, and it goes up through the troposphere. That's where our weather occurs into what we call the stratosphere. That's above where our weather is. And then it gets stuck. So the sulfur dioxide actually reflects the sun's energy back out into outer space, and that can have a brief cooling effect here on Earth. And it's happened in the past, too. This isn't something that's never occurred before. Krakatoa was one of the biggest ones with the mm. ash plume. You can see this red line is the temperature of the Earth. See the drop here? Another, a couple of the other ones here, El Chacon, a little drop, Pinatubo, a little drop, but then the Earth kind of corrects itself. Well, what the scientists analyze, how big this ash plume was, how much sulfur dioxide got into the stratosphere, and then they'll give us our estimates if it'll have any cooling effect. Bill, Karen, super interesting. Lots to watch as that continues to unfold in Indonesia. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.